Welcome to the shooting show. This week we return to the start of last year's Red Stag season with Chris Dalton looking for a cull beast. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Okay, this morning we were up on the hill at Kinnaird Estate, as you will see. Um, got a new guy with me at the moment, Graham, just helping me out. He's sort of taking on the role of cameraman. So we're in the uh, we're in the early stages of our camera work. We're not professionals, um, so there's a lot to learn. So some of the footage is, shall we say, there's room for improvement. We had a bit of an issue with sound and a bit of an issue with camera shake, but like I said, we're not cameraman we're kind of stalkers so what we're trying to do is bring you some good stalking footage. The brief this morning was we we're starting or continuing with Woodland Creation on the estate um, so I'm just checking on early stags really we've got clients booked in for a few decent stags later on in the year we can take a few off but I want to really build the stag numbers up I think they've been overshot a little bit and probably lack of management so we we really concentrated for the last two or three years on really taking some of the weaker animals out we have a lot of hinds to shoot um, quite a big hind cut I'm going to take this year so hopefully we'll get some footage of that later on as we get into the back end and certainly we need to start on the hinds in the woodland creation areas because there, there are too many they've had a good breeding year um, hinds are in superb condition this year good fecundity um, calves are really well on as you can probably see from the footage and we saw uh, a lot of deer up there Big group behind it all. Okay, we've come up through some birch trees. There's a new planting scheme going on here, and we've got um, there's a group of reds in front of us. There's no wind today. They're kind of working across the ridge. We've not got much cover. They're mostly hinds, but we'll go and see if there's a knobber with them. We can use the stream valley and then come round and just check what we've got. I suspect there's probably some more in front of them. Well, it's a beautiful morning but it's absolutely flat, can't you can hear a pin drop so if I'm honest I don't get much chance of getting near them but we'll go and have a look. We might find something just on its own in the willows. The dogs, the stuff over here, the dogs picking it up so maybe something behind us. Uh, we did get into um, a small group of finds as you'll see. There were two knobbers actually, there's a knobber in camera and there's a smaller knobber on the left hand side which unfortunately um, my cameraman was not filming so you heard the shot and you hear the strike and you'll see the deer run off. But the deer on the left dropped down on the floor which you will see um, after my man picked it up and zoomed in on it.
Yeah, show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Okay, that the vet. One of the other things I wanted to do, I get asked a lot now for just to continue little tips on the Grelokin. Um, constantly, constantly getting people so just keep putting a little bit in and putting this in. I'm always mindful that I don't want to overdo things, but clearly this is what you want to see. Uh, so again, we uh, I did um, both front and back legs. A lot of people struggle with taking the you know the, the legs off through the flat joint. So firstly, I've showed you how to uh, how to deal with the. The, the rear leg which basically is straight in the leg out and then you can clearly see where the kind of the knuckle or the main kind of knuckle joint is kneecap joint if you like and then just a little bit up from that probably about three quarters of an inch above it is a smaller joint you can feel it if you run your if you run your thumb over the top of the leg as you've got it straight you can feel that and basically that's where you cut your cut goes nicely around nice neat cut sharp knife helps um, and essentially you just basically free off the fur in it a nice neat cut and then the the flat joint the cannon joint will just snap it's ever so easy people struggle with it it's quite easy when you do it and i think it's just a technique thing a second thing i've showed is the front legs again it's the same thing again it's just technique um, and if you get the knife bang on the on the correct spot it's like a sweet break and you see people struggling and tugging and pulling and there's really no need for it and you're not trying to cut the bone with the knife it's just basically a nice neat incision around the fur um, which basically exposes the where the, where the, the two bones kind of fuse together um, and the way to do that is as I show you is to, is to, is to effectively bend the, the leg completely against itself and follow the line down and that will put you right onto the, onto the cut. A lot of people go too high up or too low, they're not exposing the joint and therefore they're trying to break the bone and that won't work. So both of those are little techniques and tips which will hopefully put your knife work um, just on the, on the right spot. Chris there, adhering to his cool plan. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Shooting has come under a woeful attack from Liverpool's council, which put forward a motion labelling any form of game shooting barbaric. This comes after the Liverpool Mayor intervened to pressure the city's exhibition centre to cancel the second British Shooting Show event that was scheduled to debut there in September next year. Basque said it was surprised that such a poorly composed and misinformed motion had passed due diligence to be put forward for a debate, which takes place this Wednesday. That debate will be streamed live. Check social media for the link on Wednesday afternoon. Scotland is consulting on the future of its general licences, and Basque said the licences need to protect livelihoods, rural economies and the environment. This comes after England suspended its general licences for the control of pest birds for seven weeks earlier this year, and Wales followed by adding new restrictions to its general licences, which came into effect a week ago. Basque's Scotland director Colin Shedden said the organisation had made a robust and far-reaching response to ensure shooters' voices were heard. Matt Skelhon is world champion in mixed 10m air rifle prone SH1 after winning gold at the Sydney WSPS World Championships. In a tightly contested final, the Brit held on to take gold by just three tenths of a point ahead of the home favourite Anton Zapelli. Speaking after the win, Skelhon said it was tough, cold and tense, but it was my goal to be a world champion again and I achieved it. And finally, with voting now open for the Great British Shooting Awards 2020, we take a look at one of the categories you can have your say in. This week it's the Shooting Apparel Award, for the clothing and footwear worn by everyone across the shooting world. And the nominees are... Blaza Hybrid Suit 
Deer Hunter Pro Gamekeeper Jacket, Harkina Heat Jacket, Laxon Wood Hay Smock, Shooter King Hunt Flex Jacket. You can have your say in who wins. Head to GreatBritishShootingAwards.com to vote. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>